back to another Steel Mace Flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen and I have the pleasure and honor of being a Steel Mace Flow coach and educator. If you're interested in learning more about the artist Steel Mace Flow, please reach out as I offer virtual training, classes, and mentorships to get you certified to teach Steel Mace Flow. Today, we are going to start our flow in warrior position with a 360. From here, my bottom hand's gonna catch halfway up the mace. I'm gonna go into an outside mill. From here, I'm going to scoop into a bull whip. Now, from here, I'm gonna splash, pivot to the opposite direction, release and catch the globe. You must keep your eyes on the globe. So we splash, release, catch. Now, I've got a lot of tension on that globe, so when I fall into a squat, I'm able to control where that tail is. If I don't have tension, it'll just fall. I want to really squeeze it to show that I've got control over my mace. I'm going to come back up, and I want to catch it halfway up the mace with my back hand. From here, I'm going to scoop water in front of me and redirect it with the tap of my foot. So scoop, redirect, pulling back to order. Now, I find it's important to pull that mace to order to kind of take some momentum out of it because we're gonna go into a reverse guillotine. So I'm gonna set that globe on my, in between my shoulder blades and rainbow the tail over to the other side. Once it comes to the other side, I'm gonna catch it in a shield arm with my opposite hand in a step four lunge. From this position, I'm just going to circle that arm all the way up and over, and I like to make this dramatic, you don't have to, and I'm going to lever it down as I pivot out of my step forward into a step two lunge facing the back. So I'm kind of in this curtsy lunge or dragon lunge. As I circle it down, I'm going to lever down with this arm and lever up with my shield arm, sending that tail behind my back so that I'm finishing in a step two lunge facing the back, Shaolin zero. Now, I'm gonna turn around and see this from the front. From here, I'm going to circle the mace down. I call this a thumb roll because it's just rolling over my thumb joint. I'll be in a sword down position. I wanna seamlessly flip it to a sword up position. So from the back, I circle it down over my thumb. Coin flip, as I coin flip, I'm gonna catch the tail pivot to the side in an uppercut position, and then all I have to do is step to the front and stack my hands and I'm all set to go on the other side. So, message me with any questions, tag me if you try it, and always, always flow on my friends.